presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, what's new in ProPresenter 7.8? Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about ProPresenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. Before we get started, if you have been waiting for new features and you've heard what one of them might be, go ahead, give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe to this video. So, ProPresenter, they're releasing new um, feature updates every three or four months. So far, it's been uh, four times a year on average. And uh, some people are concerned that that means that they're leaving bug fixes behind. Not true at all. Every feature release also fixes bugs. There are bug fix releases often in between the two, but in this case, it's a little bit of both, both features and bugs. So I thought that we'd go over to my computer, and I'm not going to go through the bug release uh, fixes, but the new features, one of which a lot of people have been clamoring for from day one of ProPresenter. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter 7.8 and it looks identical. I mean, even if I hide myself down here, you'll notice yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything new, but that's not the case. So if we go over to ProPresenter Preferences and let's start out with um, screens. And this is the first thing that you'll notice in ProPresenter 7.8 is down here under rendering, there used to be a, um, at least on the Mac version, there was a use metal rendering and then it said beta in it. You'll notice that doesn't exist anymore. Right here we have render mode and use legacy render mode if you want. So they've they think, at least, that metal rendering, which is, you don't know, you don't have to know what that is. It's just a different way of drawing graphics and such. And they think that it's ready for prime time uh, now. So it's now on by default. But if you have problems, this is where you can go ahead and fix that. The other things are um, this, disable black magic sync groups. I'm going to go into that a little bit more in a later tutorial, but if you don't have any Blackmagic devices that you're outputting to, like a Decklink Duo 2 um, or Quad 2, that sort of thing, then you you can ignore that. Uh, timing source, notice that's also uh, related to the uh, Decklink um, card that I have installed. So, something that you can ignore if you don't have one of those. So that's thing number one. Let me go on to thing number two and that is located under network right there. And you'll notice that we've got the regular stuff. First off you've got to enable network. Then we've got remote apps, a stage app, and link. Well what is link? If you have two or more instances of registered ProPresenter, this matters for what this does, um, then you can link them together over the network. It has to be the exact same network, and uh, you can go from there. Now, once you've done that, why would you want to do that? Well, now you can control two or more instances of ProPresenter with one. So in ProPresenter 6, this used to be called the Master Control Module or Master Slave. Either way, now it's called the Network Link. And it does more than some of the third-party kind of hacky ways of dealing with things work. So right now, it does not auto-discover other ProPresenter instances on the network. But they say that that's coming. It's also not frame accurate. So if you're playing a video in 
two ProPresenter instances, there might be a little latency between the two. But in testing from uh, some of the other beta testers, they say that it's not enough that you can notice. It's just a little bit. Whereas in the future, they're hoping to have it spot on exactly the same frame. So that's something else that will be very cool. So I'll show you how to use that uh, a little bit later. Now, thing number three that they have, and you might see I've been trying to get my account set up, so I'm not going to show you all the bells and whistles of this, but if we go under services, we have a new thing down here, multi-tracks. So what is multi-tracks? Well, if you go to um, multitracks.com, um, I'm actually still trying to set this up. I think they're having server issues because all the new ProPresenter users. So I think that's just a guess. I have no inside information. So all that to say, you can, and you can see where they have songs that have MIDI notes in them already. So you can control um, other things with that. And they have songs with, chord charts already in them. Additionally, you can transpose those chord charts. So if you're in, if it comes in G and you actually prefer it to be in F, then you can just click a button and transpose it. Brings it in very similarly to how it does in uh, with Song Select but it's just a more robust system uh, that has more information than just the lyrics like Song Select does. It's an additional cost, um, but with that said, I just wanted you to know about that. So that is uh, that. By the way, you can bring that in here by uh, clicking... Oops, wrong one. Up here under Library New and um, New Presentation. Oops, wrong one. Search, silly me. So you can click on Search or Command F on a Mac, Control F on a PC. That's on my other screen right now. So. Um, Let me drag that over right now. There it is. So that I can show it to you. Because now you'll notice that there are three different icons, whereas in 771 and earlier, there were in fact two. So... We've got the ProPresenter library search. We've got Song Select right here in the middle. That's right where it was. And this icon is for Multitracks.com. So if I click on that, notice that it brings up a login. So you bring that up and then you can search on it basically identically to how you could do that for, um, for Song Select in the past. And then you've got a couple of additional options there. So those are the three things I've found thus far, at least, in uh, ProPresenter 7.8, and that is multitracks.com integration, the new video rendering slash Blackmagic uh, stuff, and the third thing is the network link Formerly very similar to the master control module, um, although the network link appears, at least in initial testing, to be uh, more robust and have more features. So that is all that's new in ProPresenter 7.8. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to TDM. Dot FYI slash pro seven quick. 
put in your name and email address so that I can make a login for you, and you can join absolutely free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.